That match that was played in some wind, and that may have been an excuse for Martina, was played outstandingly, though, by the young 17-year-old from West Germany. What she does so well, Cliff, is she hits that forehand, and she's so forceful with it. She hit right through the wind and, and handled the conditions much better than Martina, who really had to depend on control. Martina did not serve that well, but Steffi never let up throughout the two sets. Now, I was talking to somebody, Billie Jean, and it may have been Fred earlier about Steffi Graf's game and he said the important thing about Steffi Graf as you look at her West German of course she still lives there 5'8 116 is that she can only go up from here and that serve motion in her of hers has got something that can only get better she can hit the ball harder and harder it's not like she's stuck with for example like Chrissy Everett's serve where there really wasn't very far for it to go she's 32 years old 5'6 125 pounds in Fort Lauderdale, now Boca Raton. But what you're saying is Stevie hasn't reached her potential yet, and That's her right. service mechanically is good, so it's going to get better. That's the point. Chris Everett Lloyd, first game of the match, women's singles finals. Yeah. This place is jammed. There is, there's a hush almost of anticipation. They've been waiting for this. Everett Lloyd over Graf, as you see. Chris beat uh, Steffi a year ago in the final of this championship. Martina didn't play. draw men and women best of three sets this of course this is the final of the Lipton International Players Championship Chris has trouble because she cannot hit a topspin serve she's gonna hit into Steffi's forehand a lot the first backhand return this game the Steffi's had to hit and Chris won the point Chrissy got a good first serve in there that time that was the reason for that one this youngster has certainly come out smoking off the forehand side to see how this is going to develop. We'll be back. <laughs> Richard Kaufman had all kinds of troubles in the men's semi-finals between Connors and Ivan Lindel. Apparently he survived. Controversy in that match played earlier and won by Ivan Lendl as you see the temperature down there and Ivan Lendl will play against Miloslav Machia also from Czechoslovakia.
gullies at courtside. And Fred, as I look down at you there, I can't imagine playing under really nicer conditions than we're enjoying right this minute. Very pleasant down here at the moment, Cliff. The sun is starting to settle down, to go down to the west, and there's a bit of cloud coverage, a slight breeze, but not as bad as it has been throughout the day, and just about perfect conditions. Looking very distinguished down there, Fred. Fred, of course, is so close to Chris Everett Lloyd and, uh, and indeed Steffi Graf. He's kind of whispering a bit. I think that Chris is going to have to take a couple of chances and hit wide to Steffi's forehand to open up that court so she can finally get to the backhand because Steffi is going to be running around that backhand as often as possible. This is break point. Serve, followed by a break of serve. How often that happens. You saw there from Steffi Graf, though, especially off the backhand side, she's going to be hitting a lot of those. Her variety, Billie Jean, she can hit under it and over it. In fact, she hit them both twice in that rally alone. Well, that's what I saw five years ago when I watched her play at Wimbledon, and I felt that she was the most promising youngster because she could do those two things, Cliff. She has terrific footwork as well. She opens up her shoulders a little too early, and she knows when she's doing that. And let's see if she corrects it. Last point of that game, I thought it was a great tactic by Chris Everett Lloyd to go in on that shot early in the match to put the young Steffi under pressure. She missed that passing shot, the first real passing shot she had a crack at. measuring measuring and then saying no this thing's going to go long it was only just long you're right fred about chris going in early in the match we talked about that uh, two nights ago she's saying you know i've got to start going in earlier in the match don't wait until it gets tight and then try to go in watch Steffi, by the way she's constantly on her toes she's skipping every moment of every point watch it She'll try to run around her back end and hit a powerful forehand if she can. I thought the best point technically that's been made, Billie Jean, is the fact that, as you said, Chris doesn't have that top of serve. It's going to be difficult for her to get it into the back end side. Double fault there. Maybe that was the reason why. 15-30. Two games to one. One apiece, rather. we watched five years ago and she's even better look how much discipline always on her feet on the balls of her feet getting in position there's a big topspin forehand look at that always preparing that's that's good for all of us who try to play the game oh yeah Thirty. 
Well, Chris wants to start going in early in this match, and she gets a short reply from Steffi and takes advantage of it. Did you see, see Steffi, rather? She was staying on that side of the court. She wanted the forehand. She didn't think Chrissy was going to go there. Oh! And three games have been played. Three breaks are served. Two of them against Christopher Lloyd. Steffi Graf leads two games to one. The 17-year-old from West Germany is in charge. You've got some West Germans, a bunch of others, all broadcasting to all over the world. At least 30 countries are taking this. It's available to even more than that. Europe, South America, Africa, Australia, of course. Fred always tells you about those. Folks down under enjoying this telecast along with you. Steffi Graf, two games to one. First set, woman's final. $150,000 to the winner of this match. Now, how important is the money to those girls? Are they thinking about it at all? No, it's the last thing you think about. Fifteen left. I guess Chrissy's bank manager is the only one who really worries about it then, and Steffi Graf, when she takes it back to West Germany, of course, that, uh, that mark's so high, it kind of gets hard like it was for you. There's Dandy Don. <laughs> he likes tennis. He was up at the Nabisco Masters. Fred talked to him up there. Likes lip to nice tea, too, doesn't he? either as, as you saw right there and Graf meant that shot game point Graf Rather, as I watch her, the thought occurs to me that she could dominate the sport just like Martina did, and to some extent, the same way that you did for so long. Oh, she can, and the same way Chris Everett Lloyd has Absolutely. for so many years. She's only 17 years old, remember. By the way, looking at Don Meredith here, Fred, uh, Ken Fouts, our producer, knows him from many years ago, so he went over there and talked to him. And you know, when we're doing this thing on the satellite, folks who get it up there. ESPN homes, they don't always get the commercials if they're on the satellite, just pick it up directly. And he said that he heard some of the remarks that we were making. And so let me bring all that up because you'd be interested to know that he is a real tennis fan because he's been watching us. We've been on the air now since Monday a week ago. This is a 14 day championship.
Chris, he's finding it a little difficult to trade forehands from the back of the court with Graf. I agree with Billie Jean. I think she's got to take a couple of risks and get to the forehand so that it opens up the backhand side. She's guiding too many, in my opinion, over to the backhand side at the moment, or trying to. a little stronger because sometimes she has a little bit like a noodle wrist on it and this last winter she worked on her serve so she's one of the few players that takes time off to improve her game which i agree with especially at this young age this match was going to be played earlier in the day as you can see the sun is going down kind of quickly in fact the lights have been turned on already here just so that the transition is easier for the players 15.40, double break point. The reason for it being delayed is because the men's finals were delayed. Because of the weather. The men's the semifinals, semifinals. Rather, right. And in the final, and you'll see that live at 4 p.m. this afternoon, you will see Yvonne Lindell and Machia. at Eastern time, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Steffi Graf has broken again. Four games to one. That represents two serve breaks. number one number two frames getting the racket back about shoulder height third most important one point of contact the racket heads a little bit low and then she finishes up high so there's top spin on that chris everett look how much higher in frame two her racket is more open in frame three and comes through with the upper part of her body more than Steffi in frame four interesting comparison and by the way the similarity is more interesting than the differences really a little more top spin in Steffi's, and she hits the ball a little harder, but there are a lot of similarities. They both prepare really early. Very well, but Chris hits more of a side spin, almost sometimes high to low. Steffi Graf's serves thus far in this match have been directed to the Everett Lloyd forehand. opportunity to Steffi Graf this is exactly what she's gonna have to do she gets a short shot and she powders it to the backhand comes in keeps going forward I think Chris should be doing that as often as possible take a few chances you especially if behind in the set nothing to lose that's a chance 15-30 Played point. It was called long, believe it or not. Well, it might have been long, so believe it. It's instead of 15:40 and two break points for Everett Lloyd, it's 30 all. Mm, that must have missed us by a centimeter. A fraction. there. She didn't used to do that so often. She said now that she's older, she's not as patient. Well, Steffi Graf really 
cranks up on this big crucial point, add point. Look how high that toss is. Look at the great knee bend, though, and look at reach and hit left to right. And that's why that ball kept going out to Chris's backhand. three years old well they've played every other time that's twice Everett Lloyd won both of their previous meetings here in this Lipton championship yep in 85 she beat Steffi in the semi-final four and two and then as you watch this again in the final last year four and two again this is what's been working for Chris did she hesitate Fiery? On that passing shot, looked like I thought Chris hesitated a little bit getting in. She did hesitate going in, but uh, we have this out, this outside person here with a, a cushion, a waffle cushion, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's an aggravating kind of a whine that uh, emanates from that thing. I don't know whether it's our the PA system or the local or whatever it is. Anyway, it's aggravating, but this is another triple set point here. And by the way, also break point, of course, for Graf. Semi-finals. She made really short shrift of the number one player in the world, Martina Navratilova. That score was 6-2, 6-3. She's won the first set here against Chris Everett Lloyd, six games to one. Goma, Kyle, Lisa Bonda, and Martina Navratilova. Look at that. She hasn't lost a set in the tournament yet. Really, not even close, as a matter of fact. The toughest match that she had, I think, was... Oh. I'm checking. Steffi Graf has that really same... really hasn't had a tough one. Steffi has that same confident walk, that same confident air oh! in the semi-final match against Martina Navratilova. Lloyd won seven points apart from the one game that she won, only seven points. It's 11 total, including the game in the first set. Birkin had the toughest. He did the toughest against. East Birkin. Yeah, it was three and four. Right. That was the toughest match so far of this tournament, this Lipton tournament that Graf's had. right here. Everett Lloyd having that many more unforced errors than an opponent is it's not the usual story. It's usually the other way around when you're playing Chris Everett Lloyd. By definition, that's not an unforced error, but boy, she's making errors that she wouldn't make because Steffi's putting so darn much pressure on her. Just like that last game, if you notice, Chris's shots were all landing just around the service line, and Steffi had her running side to side as well as hitting with more depth. Look at that serve. First game of the second set, the final of the women's single, 6-1 easily for Steffi Graf, 17 years old, from West Germany over Chris Everett Lloyd. Well, you're looking at the next number one, for sure. She went up to number two on the rankings on March 2nd. So, during this tournament. Yeah. 
Graf over Everett Lloyd, 6-1 first set. She now leads one game to love in the second. This is the Lipton International Players Championship. We're on Key Biscayne. Over the ball in torso through. That's where she gets all her power is at torso. Same with Jimmy Conner. Yeah. And take another look. See how she's running, gets her racket back, square to the ball, point of contact, firm wrist, and then through. going to have to do to get back in this match is to go ahead and hit that one over the four and hit this short one so it leaves her some space open now where are you going to hit this chris i don't know down the line she's made a couple there did you see where steffi was as you know as we stopped that thing there she's right over there protecting the backhand side and of course that's why she lost that point chris has not won a point yet in second serves Help. When you know that's going on, you've got to make sure you get your first serve in. You try to keep track of that when you're out there playing. Unforced error, typical example. She's trying for a lot more than she usually does because she's playing Steffi Graf. That's why the unforced errors come so high. That's right. That last one, you could just feel that Chris had to step it up a gear if she was going to win the point. And of course, it caused her to rush. the second game that ever Lloyd has won in the match he lost the first set six at least the, yes the first set six one man and bolograph was uh, Steffi's victim in the first round listen to these scores six one six love Elise Bergen six three six four we talked about that but then listen to this Billy Jean Graf over Goma one and love over Kyle love and one over Bonda love and one and then of course the oh. semi-final uh, the semi-final match over never to love that was three and two but she has sailed through this championship. His wife next to him, Butch is the founder, the Teddy Tindling behind Butch Buckholz, founder of this championship. Down here they call this his baby. And I think that's a fair characterization. And that other person was Anna Lee Thurston, who works for Virginia Slims. PR. Oh! Anna Lee, by the way, very helpful in terms of getting some information to us about the players throughout this championship. 15 loves to figure out one game all second set. Cliff, I just think, and Billie Jean, I just think that Steffi Graf is uh, just playing so well. They said in the semi-final, Martina didn't play that well. My opinion of that was because I would go along with that to a point, but Steffi Graf did not allow Martina to get into the match. 
thus far in this match. She has not led Chris Everett Roy. She's just hit her off the court with that forehand. Maybe Chrissy can get back in within the second set. Fred's kind of whispering from down there. I mentioned that before. Well, he has to because he's got about 10 steps from the lady that you're looking at right now. He talked too loud or she's going to say something to him. that really you know maybe she'd like him to talk so she can learn something about this sport. <laughs> well it's funny because um chris hit with mary joe fernandez of course yep. who's fiery's helped and ed smat at turnberry so <laughs> what, what should i do that Chris Everett Lloyd needs to get back in this match and of course to get into the second set Steffi thought it was going to be much deeper of course and couldn't get to it nice break for Chris Excuse me, Fred, go ahead. So far, Billie Jean, uh, Steffi Graf has only hit two top spin backhands. One was an attempted pass shot in the first game, and she's played one from the back of the court. I think she's got to be a little braver off the backhand. She's just slicing everything, and I think this is allowing the Chrissy to start to creep into this match. Exactly like she wanted to, she just never made the last shot. And it was an out ball. It would have hit the backstop, that forehand from Graf. on this she had to hit a one-handed backhand ball and of course Graf had plenty of time to get over there here you see it again see how she stays over the ball watch that setter step gets ready had to hit the one handy she had a big reach there and that set it up for Steph. Steph. any which way you put it Billie Jean this kid can play and she is just a kid after all she's just 17 years old she's from West Germany and Chris Everett Lloyd is in a lot of trouble she's got her work cut out how she got to the final Jennifer Mandel first round Kijimuda from Japan Nelson Dunbar in straight sets Stephanie Rahe Claudia Koda Kilsch and Hannah and Lakova all in straight sets Chris, let that one go, Fred. Let that one go, and that's, the, that's only the second time that there's been a topspin of 
passing shot hit by Steffi Graf. Hasn't had to hit too many of them. I think Chrissy should make a hit a few more. She plays the wind perfectly. You see how far that was away from Chris when it went by her, and then it went right in and curved in there. Went from left to right of your screen. What there is, not near as bad as it was yesterday, of course. <laughs> Serve into the forehand side, and it worked. Those don't work too often. That one did. Kept going away from her. 30 off. Second serve. Chris has not been too good behind second serve. She's in trouble if she loses this point. 30 all. Could you believe how quickly Steffi went over to that backhand side to be ready for the next shot for the forehand? Crowd's liking this. Of course, Steffi Graf hit for about 40 minutes earlier today with Pavel Slozel, the Czech player. He used to play on the circuit when I was playing. He's coaching it now, yeah. Yes, he's coaching. And, of course, Peter Grass still is really her coach. Right. <coughs> well, Steffi Graff has broken serve, and Chris Everett Lloyd, as I said, in a lot of trouble. Uh, Peter Graff, of course, is her father. And Pavel Slows, as you said, Chuck is a vacuum player. I guess he's a practice partner and a coach. He told me in the locker room, he said, well, I'm coaching, I'm helping her out. And, I think you should say more, because he's, you know, he's such a good player. He knows the game has oh, been sure. there. Yeah. Uh, but they also came out about five minutes before the match started, five or ten minutes, to get used to the conditions. Five breaks of serve, as you saw for Graf, one for Everett Lloyd. Trying to help Chris to get in this. Yeah. Well, she lives just up the road. Of course, she's from this area, born and bred here, really. Boca Raton. playing the conditions better than anybody this week and again she shows us watch how she threads this backhand looks like it's going to go out and it just curves in just hits the line Final against Martina Navratilova. She played well. Yes, I thought she also was a little lucky because she got a lot of lines and stuff like that. That's the parents, of course, of Chrissy Collette, and Lloyd. Jimmy. Collette and Jimmy. Collette on the left. <laughs> They've seen a lot of matches. It obviously was not uh, luck or anything like that. She just plays that way. She, she can do it constantly. Two matches in a row here against the two greatest. Well, forget luck. This is break point. Two of them for Everett Lloyd.
great footwork there from Steffi Graf to get around. That was on a backhand side. She had the time to get around, get the feet in position, and clobber that forehand. Break point. Cannot get the depth of shot. Watch this. Watch how this one's slow and short, and she just cranks up, and it's goodbye. You know, it's funny because Chris won her first big match against Margaret Court when she was 15 years ago, 15 years old, which was 17 years ago, and Steffi Kraft is 17 years old. stay about even with her well that's one thing then she can get into the forehand the backhand side but as soon as uh, Steffi sort of imposes herself on the point then Chrissy can't get in the backhand anymore she runs around and whack the winner with the forehand a little tighter around the handle and on the right Chris Everett Lloyd she keeps her hands kind of loose and then decides what grip she's going to use the crowd are trying to get behind Chris Everett Lloyd they've supported her and followed her for so darn long she's such a, an exciting player she's just the queen really of tennis has been for so long they wanted to do better against the new queen. You may be seeing the coronation of Steffi Graf right here. She destroyed Martin in the semifinals and to this point anyway is doing the same, even worse to Chris Everett Lloyd. Dark glasses on next to Alan Mills. That second row up there in the middle. And next to Martina on her right and our left is Donna Pagliot, who's one of the WITA trainer. He's been taking care of a lot of the players the last two weeks. Is not Johnson is here today. He's been here all afternoon. We've had three matches yet so far. The, the finish, the conclusion of the match between Connors and Lendl, and then the other semi final men's singles match between Yannick Noah, Miloslav Machia, won by Machia, so it's going to be Machia and Lendl, number one seed in the final. afternoon that's four o'clock on the east coast Lendl and Machia for the championship of Key Biscayne and the Lipton International Players Championship Chris just not getting her first serve in and against Steffi today you're in big trouble if you don't get your first serve in goodbye <laughs> Steffi can be number one. Yes, if she hits shots like this. 
Hey, first serve or second serve, this kid's got that much confidence now. She's just not going to miss. Gets ready, hits a forehand. Watch her get in position. This is that volley that Chris put away, and she still almost got to it. That's a sign of a champion, though, always trying. <laughs> Billie Jean, what is going through Chris Everett Lloyd's mind? She's never been beaten this badly or in so darn long. In a moment. She's a lady, she's been great for the game. She's going to admit defeat here, but uh, whatever she's tried today, they've been on court now 51 minutes. I think it was 57 minutes, the total time with have rattle over. Two incredible performances. Steffi Graf for the championship of the Lipton International, a Grand Slam format event, two weeks, seven matches to win this title, and she's serving for it. that Graf has missed. Remember, Chris has played, this is her second tournament since September. She had a bad left knee. She's done a lot of side backs. It's much better now. Has a bone spur on her right foot. But she's probably the best shape she's been in years. plays like that, uh, there you see the percentage points, one on serve. Graf is doing much better in that department. the match first off butterflies are are all over the place i'm usually stretching maybe getting last minute instructions from my coach but actually the last thing i do is make sure my shoes are tied tight prince let the games begin may be watching the coronation of a, a new queen that may be premature billy jean because the tournaments have, have to be played on grass and there's so many indoor championships you can't count Martina out, of course you can't. But you have to look at this person and wonder. Everett Lloyd serving at two games to five. In the second set, she lost the first. good three inches out that serve there's a lot of uh, lines people in the crowd they all want Chrissy as you can <laughs> imagine yes we're helping oh! I think Steffi 
Sophie started to rush a little because she wants it so badly and wants to finish. And this is where you have to be careful to take each point one at a time. Seems to me I've heard that somewhere before. As one of Billie Jean King's favorite statements, she used to do it when she played, one point at a time. tell me that. I had a different attitude, see. I was just happy to get to the next point, no matter where it was. Just... on that. But Steffi is so good. She put so much pressure on you to make this shot perfectly. It is also championship point. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Chris's forehand has really let her down this match. Martina Navratilova, 6-2, 6-3 in the semifinals, and now over young lady who used to be the world's number one player for so long, Everett Lloyd, 6-1, 6-2. Well, has she arrived? You better believe it. Steffi Graf, number one in the world, probably after this. Trophy. To somebody who needs no introduction, Chris Everett Lord. I wish I could have played a little bit better for all of you. <laughs> but anyway, first of all, I'd like to thank Butch Buckholz for being the founder of such a great tournament. I think the players all enjoyed it. It was unfortunate a little bit with the weather, but you all came out anyway, especially the last three or four days. So, you know, I really think on behalf of all the players, I'd like to say thank you. And I hope in the future, um, I know in the future, it's going to become even better and better. So thank you. Also, also Jerry Boyk and Lipton, I've been a part of Lipton for many, many years, and they're a class act, and I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this tournament. Um, of course, if you look around the court, you can see all the other sponsors, Shearson, Lehman Brothers, they're a big sponsor, and everybody else, thank you. But I'd just like to say um, congratulations to Steffi. I used to say when I played her that 
she's got a bright future. <laughs> now, she, I have to say she has a very bright present <laughs> and past <laughs> and future, but um, she had a great tournament being Martina, who is still number one in the computer. And, um, well, I mean, she is. <laughs> But she's still, I think in the, in the eyes of Steffi, that was a big win for her also, and hopefully beating me was a big win for her. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'd like to congratulate her. She's really playing well. Um, she cleaned my clock, so to speak. I didn't expect the ball to come across that hard. Um, I've been practicing with a lot of the men, and they don't hit that hard. <laughs> so she played great. So thank all of you for coming out and supporting this event, and my parents, also my family and I hope I'll be able to come back next year and play. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1987 Lipton International Players Women's Champion, Steffi Graff. Great match. Well, you've heard from Steffi Graff already. Fred Stolley spoke to her. What a fine lady, what a fine champion. Well, you know, earlier this week, our own Billie Jean King had a chance to have a quiet moment with the lady that you've just seen, Chris Everett Lloyd. She had some interesting things to say. Chris, you're 32.